Ah! Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot. And today we're continuing with the crypto series and we're talking about did you bite again? Yep. I'm that drunk guy at the bar that keeps on repeating itself. I'm like, hey bro, it's 40 times faster. Did I, did I mention it? 40 times. Say Doge. Doge. It's the way I talk when I'm drunk. So, but really what we're gonna talk about today is Digibyte and decentralization. Why is it important to be decentralized? And then I'll give you my updated price prediction for 2021. So let's get into it. So first off, you know, in previous videos, we've covered how fast Digibyte is, how minimal the transaction fees are, how secure Digibyte is. We've talked about DigiShield and how it saved Doge. DigiShield is incorporated in the Ethereum blockchain, the Bitcoin Cash blockchain, the Zcash blockchain. There is a lot of innovation and a lot to like about Digibyte. But most importantly, in a lot of ways, is how truly decentralized Digibyte is. There's no central company. There was no ICO, initial coin offering. There's, it's all volunteer based. The one marketing campaign that Digibyte did was crowdfunded. So look, that's, there's a negative to that because I don't believe people really know about Digibyte. There's not enough eyes. I mean, this thing's been around since 2014. It's the longest UTXO blockchain. And if you don't know what UTXO means, I cover it in my previous Digibyte video rather extensively. So go check out that video. So anyways, decentralization. You know, there's a lot of Bitcoin FUD out there right now. FUD is fear, uncertainty, doubt. It's environmental FUD. And there's also China centralization FUD. Elon Musk leaned into that a couple weeks ago and tweeted, Bitcoin is actually highly centralized with supermajority controlled by a handful of big mining companies, a single coal mine in China flooded, almost killing miners, and Bitcoin hash rate dropped 35%. So, you know, you read that and you think, shit, one coal mine in China flooded and Bitcoin hash rate dropped 35%? That's intense. I mean, at some point, 81% of Bitcoin mining power was in China. That's dropped. It's about 66% now. That's still two thirds. That's intense. So Jared Tate, the creator of Digibyte, responded to Elon Musk's tweet with 100%. I figured this out in 2013 when I stopped mining Bitcoin because the Chinese government was subsidizing and consolidating Bitcoin hardware manufacturing and mining goods. China controls Bitcoin. No one group has a monopoly on Digibyte. We are continually working to keep it that way. And that's what he did. He created something called multi-algo, which means that there are five algorithms to mine Digibyte. Each one of those can mine 20% of Digibyte. Those different algorithms require different hardware, making it impossible for somebody to acquire all the hardware needed to, you know, centralize the mining of Digibyte. There's only one algorithm to mine Bitcoin or Litecoin. That's a problem because if you only have one mining algorithm, huge organizations can just amass massive amounts of hardware and they can start to centralize the mining like we've seen in China and Bitcoin. So what is my price prediction for 2021? Digibyte needs eyes and it needs catalysts. You have Humble Pay. If Humble Pay gets it together, there are ETXs which are crypto ETFs. Digibyte is a large part of that. You have Coinbase possibly listing it. That's another catalyst that would be good for it. But most importantly, people need to wake up to what an incredible project it is. That has to break through this resistance, this 15 cent, 16 cent, 20 cent resistance. Because once it breaks loose up, that means eyes are there and it's just going to the FOMO will kick in. So you're looking at $1, $150, $2, and then who the hell knows. But I think by the end of 2021, we'll be looking at $1 plus Digibyte. What do you guys think? You think it can happen? Hey, thanks for watching. Next week, we're going to talk about Ethereum 2.0 and Cardano. So hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, do your homework.